I have an American Standard Freedom 80 Comfort R and this is uh, made by Train. So if you have a Train furnace, it's very similar. So this furnace is from 2006 and now it's January of 2021. So if you subscribe to my channel, I have a few other videos how I repaired this furnace. And the problem I have today is the blower fan is not working. And uh, it has happened before, and you will see another video where I have uh, switched out the blower fan with a used motor, and those are the ECM motors. And what I'm going to do is, I think I know the issue, and I will try to uh, fix that. I have done it before. And uh, what happened is, the furnace was coming on, and uh, the, uh, the gas furnace fired up, and we did smell in the previous run we did smell uh burning um uh, smell into the upper upper uh, uh, levels where it discharges the air and then uh, the next time it uh, the furnace came on it didn't start the blower motor so i did turn off the furnace and when you see is usually uh, I'll turn off the light here usually you will see that this light will be blinking which is the regular blink and also there will be one light here which starts blinking the green one and then the fan should still come on and then there is a light green light here that should light up and if those are lighted up your your uh, circuit board or the control board is working fine your problem is in the ECM control panel in the motor right there so what I'm going to do um, I have I'm going to turn off the power to the unit and let the capacitor discharge on the blower motor so the first thing is I will remove the control panel here there are two bolts you can see there is one bolt right there and the other bolt right there so these two is holding the control board and for the transformer make sure the power is off you will have probably two bolts I have one here and one in the back for getting to the the back bolt and also when you are taking out the the squirrel cage in the back it's helpful to have an extension like this which is a flex extension and I will put a link on my video uh, you can see uh, how you can get it these are not very expensive you can get two of these for less than like eight nine dollars I'm also going to remove the connectors from the back uh, from the blower motor so there are two connectors you can press this one and you can see this there is a and squeeze the top and bottom and this connector will come up so you have two things to squeeze right there so this will release the connection and from here you can label this this goes to the the blower motor housing which is the squirrel cage and also there is one more earth which goes to that so that being said i will remove the transformer and then I have if you can see I have not removed any of the wiring uh, you don't need to remove any of the wiring or disconnect any of the wiring other than these two from the blower motor and all I need to do is have the clearance to remove the blower motor housing and the squirrel cage so the bolts that I removed all take an 8 millimeter socket and uh, just wanted to mention but you'll probably be able to figure out. So as you can see, I have just uh, put the control board and the transformer away from this area. So you can see that I have enough clearance to bring this out. Now, this one has, has the bolts right there. You can see one and one on this side. So these are the two bolts. You can see those two and then it will slide out. So I will take those two bolts out. 
So this bolt takes a 10 millimeter socket and you can see how it is easy it is for me to use this flex extension to reach this so I am much I am able to get the bolt out otherwise you won't be able to this might be okay this one will be a little difficult once you remove the two bolts it's very easy to slide this out you will see that this is going to slide out and you can see the grooves that is holding it on the top and I will slide this whole assembly out on this uh, motor housing you will see that the top one you see this area is the ECM control board or the control um, and I'm going to remove just the just these two bolts and I'm not going to remove any of the housing here or you don't need to remove from the squirrel cage just this top cover which is the control module and this one takes a one by four inch socket and that's the one that is uh, going to open these these bolts so while removing this just make sure that you look at the orientation this is the facing uh, to the front where we removed the two cables or the connectors and this is how the squirrel cage goes so this is the front of the machine and so when you put the housing back on you should make sure that this is pointed towards the front and I'm going to remove these two bolts these are two long bolts and I'm going to lift this up and I'll show you what might be the issue. So usually this is very well known. Once I take this, this uh, control board out, you will see this is the part that needs to be replaced. And this goes bad and this burns out. It's called a thermistor or thermal resistor. So this part is the one which usually burns out. And it, this part actually costs probably less than $2 but not everyone even if you go and call an HVAC technician they will replace the whole motor and this motor costs you over $800 maybe you know with the replacement cost and they will probably charge you $1200 to replace it but if you are okay with a little bit of soldering and I'll show you how to do that this is the part that goes bad so then the next is I'm going to disconnect this wiring. You see that the wiring that connects to the motor. So this is the motor and this is the controller. And this wiring is the harness is right there. So you can press on it and there is a clip on my right side and it will come out. So this is the wiring harness and you can see this is the clip that holds it. So one sign that your pot is burned is if you if you smell this, you will have some burning smell. And that's what you actually smell uh, when it was uh, you know, about to die. And you will have some burning smell in the air that is discharged. In my case, my wife called me and said she, has, she smells something burning. And I went upstairs and I did smell it. And uh, when I came downstairs, I saw that the fan the blower fan was not running so I had to stop the furnace so if you smell something which is burning it probably is your motor and uh, this part so to remove the uh, I have to take out this control board so that I can flip it upside down and so there are um, a couple of uh, bolts over here so this one bolt and uh, that one bolt should take it out there might be another one here so there are two bolts just keep track of the bolts uh, or the screws that you are taking out so after removing the two screws and uh, those screws were one here and one right there 
you can see that there is a little bit of a clip that needs to be I'm using a needle nose plier to just release that clip and that will get my uh, board out so what you see is you can see the terminal right here you can see some burn burn mark right there where it uh, and if I flip this you will see also there is the the terminal right there which is burned so what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt these two terminals right there and here and I will remove the solder from here just be careful that you don't connect these two or any of those lines so keep your soldering to the minimum and I will replace this part so here I have the new part and I will put the part number and uh, you can see I bought it from uh, Mauser Electronics and at that time I had replaced it once on the previous motor and uh, the last time I had to replace the whole motor uh, because one of the connectors went bad and also I have uh, I have a soldering iron so you can also uh, get this soldering iron if you have never done soldering it's not too difficult all it does is uh, you heat it up this tip gets very hot and once you touch these uh, points here with the hot iron or the hot tip it will it will melt and you will be able to pull the parts out and then putting it back together uh, it requires a little solder I also have a solder with me so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to melt this solder to remove the current current Be careful because if you pull it, it I'm going to use a needle nose plier to pull from the other side because it gets hot, that wire will get hot. So I'm going to put the, the new one and pass it through the holes, you can see. I will solder it back on here and then I will trim the um, the ends. I'm going to use a little bit solder and just join this end. So here goes the new part and um, you can see the solder over there so um, write these two and it is I'm going to put this back in just make sure that these wires are are being routed through those holes in there and I will put this back together so before I put this uh, motor back on what I do is I test it to make sure that the fix I did is going to work so I have connected the terminals and you can see it's still sitting outside and I have put the thermostat to have the fan turned on or circulate whichever setting works for you and I'm going to Turn the power on and the circuit board will and looks like the fan is running you can see so the fix works and I'm going to clean it up a little bit it's been uh, pretty dirty because we had a flood 
a year and a half before and you will see some uh, videos I have changed quite a few including the gas valve on this furnace and clean up uh, the uh, pressure switches or in this case there is no pressure switch here and uh, also how I, I change the circuit board so I have put everything back together and you will see there are some the squirrel cage takes a little bit effort to get in into the uh, grooves over there and you have to slide it properly and the screws in and make sure that these connectors to the blower motor is uh, fitting properly so make sure you tighten this because if you have a loose connection there uh, the connectors will burn out and you will have other problems you have to replace the whole control board so I'm going to start up the heat cycle and I have set the thermostat to heat I'm going to switch it on and you can see the inducer motor started once uh, the negative pressure builds up the pressure switch will close and the burners you can see the igniter is is on and the burners have fired I'll turn the light light off this one has five burners and soon the fan the blower fan should come on There you can hear the blower motor and the blower fan came on. So that was a good fix. It only cost me less than $2 and some shipping. And if you like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel. I have other repair videos for this furnace. And uh, hope uh, you will be able to fix it for close to nothing instead of uh, replacing the whole blower motor.